Hello there, my fluffy listeners. Before listening to this ASMR, I want to tell you that now I have my Discord channel, the link to which I will leave in the description below. There you can communicate with each other, share your impressions of my videos and audios, as well as your art. Also, you can recommend me new scenarios there, communicate with me directly, both in chat and in voice channels, both in Russian and in English. I will listen to you all and also take into account your advice of how to improve the quality of my videos. This server will be constantly improved, supplemented and simply expanded for new guests. Thank you for your attention. Come to my server. See ya. Now to the ASMR. Oh, hello. Hello, human. Ha. Huh. Do you remember me? Uh, I'm a moth. The one that used to sing you a lullaby. <laughs> yes, yes, it's me. Hello again. How are you? Oh, oh, I can see from your face that everything is not very good. <sighs> wow, phew, it's so cold here. It makes me want to sleep. <sighs> Turn on a light bulb? Anyone? Even a night light? That night light, yes. I need to be close to the light so I can sleep. Oh, what a cute cat night light you have! <laughs> it's so pretty! Oh, it also glows in different colors! How interesting! It, it's like magic! Like that beautiful girl with jewelry! She had a, a glass ball, I think, and it also shimmered in different colors. And sometimes it shone. It shone so brightly that I, even for a while, no, how to say, I was fascinated. I couldn't take my eyes off. And it seemed to me that in this ball I saw some people. It seems that I even saw you. What? Are you saying that it was another gi gypsy? And who are gypsies? Ah, you... you say they are scammers. They deceive people and other creatures. But how could she deceive me? Just... how? She is not a drider. I thought only Nagas and Driders could deceive others. They have it in their nature. So people can cheat too? Oh, it's a pity. But I saw you in that ball. And now I'm with you. So the protection worked and I... Oh. But you... You really look very sad. Did... Did something happen to you? Oh, a lot of stress at school. You say that everyone offend you there. But who can offend such a beautiful human? Why are they doing that? Why? Why didn't they like you? Ah, they, they say that you are too smart. But it seems to me that there is no one too smart. I believe that there are envious people. Hey, 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 don't be a 
upset. They're just jealous of you. They just don't want to admit that you're better than them in some way. Hey, hey, listen, human. Everything will be fine. They will admit their mistakes sooner or later. You know, I once was told by a very ancient oak tree that... Huh? Uh, yes, the trees are talking to me. What's wrong with that? I'm a forest moth, and nature speaks to me. <laughs> I, I'm an unusual moth. I have magic. Do you remember how I... Lulled you singing a lullaby. Then I'll let you feel my pollen. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I told you I'm an unusual moth. I am magical, really. It and uh, I can make fairy dust. Oh, you say it's like a fairy? Well, you could say that, only I am a fluffy fairy. Fluffy. But we also have fairies, but uh, they are mostly evil and very harmful. Hey, do you want me to hug you? I think you really need hugs. You are looking so sad and and lonely. I saw in that glass bowl at the gym, at that sorcerer's, that you are alone. And you need support. Mm. Remember my soft scales. I remember how I hugged you. Do not be afraid. Everything is fine. I I really like you. <laughs> well, of course, in a platonic way. You are a very good person. I remember how you treated me to marshmallows. They were so delicious, sweet and soft. Like, I ate a small cloud. Hey, can I stay with you tonight? As the guardian of dreams. I will protect you from nightmares. I'll save you from everything bad. And I'll be with you all night. Why am I doing this? Well, I I really, really like you. You are a very nice human. Smart and handsome. And you are also kind. You share with everyone. You also share goodies and light with me. Usually humans try to slap me and drive me away. Believing that uh, since I am a monster girl, and even from insects, I will definitely put little moths in their ears. <laughs> what an absurdity. Moths only need light and some nectar. Or sweet, for that matter. You know... I've been watching you for a while. I was just wondering what kind of person you are. Hmm? Stalker? And who are stalkers? Oh, it's those who constantly follow one person. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't follow you all the time. I just, well, I looked a little 
at how you live and then flew back to the forest because I couldn't live without fairy pollen and in your city the air is very dirty it was difficult for me to breathe even in the parks and forests next to your rows it was difficult to breathe I I had to use a portal to return to my magical forest. Oh, you want to know about the magical forest where I live? <laughs> you know, in due time, perhaps I'll take you with me, show you where I live. But in the meantime, I can only give you a dream about this beautiful place. We have moths, butterflies, and other winged creatures. We live in harmony and prosperity. Nobody offends anyone. We are all friends. And we feed on pollen, which helps us live longer and happier. Come on, sleep soundly, and know that no matter what happens, I will be by your side all this night. I will be there, and no one will bite you, hit you, or disturb you. I will be with you, protect you from monsters. <laughs> Look at me being soft and fluffy. I I really can protect you. Hello there, my fluffy listeners. Thank you for listening my audio. Like and share my video if you can. And if you want to listen my other characters, or even suggest a scenario, please leave a comment. Promise, I'll read them all. Also, if you want to listen more of me, subscribe and ring the bell. Once again, thank you for listening. See you soon, my fluffies.